Okay, so let me get this straight. After Waylitsov's guild was destroyed, you and Tag joined a new guild run by Latios. Yes, have all skills. And the guild is in a forest that you can only get in and out of using enter cards. It wasn't like that when we got there, but yeah. Fast forward six months, you and Tag accepted an anonymous escort mission that just happened to be from my parents, whom we both assumed were dead. But after Hivolt got you and your clients, my parents, out, you were attacked by Bisharp, where Tag and your clients, my parents, were captured. Yes. That's all fine and dandy, but it still doesn't explain why Bardsharp attacked you in the first place. That, I can actually explain. How? Well, there's been a group of Pokemon going around recently sabotaging rescue teams and exploration teams. What? That's crazy! Why would someone do that? We don't know, but we think they're responsible for the attack on the guild. Well, what do you know? The only thing we know for certain is the name of the group's boss. And that name would be... He calls himself the Bitter Cold. What?! No, 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 no. You must be mistaken. What? All I said was the Bitter Cold. No, that's not possible. Curtis, you're glowing. I just need to go think for a while. What just happened? Oh, nothing. He just popped back to the human world to do some thinking. Back to the human world? Curtis is a human? Yeah. Did we forget to mention that? Yeah, kind of. But back to the main point. Why did you and Curtis slip out when I said bitter cold? Because Curtis destroyed the bitter cold two years ago. What? But... Ugh, this is getting confusing. You're telling me. Alright? Sounds good to me. Hey guys, sorry for uh, running off like that. It's okay. Take a seat. So what have we decided? Pika? We're gonna go investigate the Apparition Forest. If what Miles said was true, the world could be in danger again. If it has something to do with the bitter cold, it's our job to stop it. Not to mention saving your parents. Er, uh, yeah. Uh, guys, we still have a problem. I already told you, it's impossible to get into the forest now. That's not true. You said that we could get there by enter card. Do you have any enter cards? As a matter of fact, we have some friends who are geniuses with enter cards. Wow, that's convenient. We'll do some prep work. Stock up the treasure bag, then we'll talk to Espeon and Umbreon. Sounds good. <sighs> well, there goes our day off. Espeon! Umbreon! Oh, hey Pika. What brings you to Post Town? Yeah, I thought today was your day off. Change of plans! Curtis and I are going on an expedition. Oh, where to? Apparition Forest. What? Why would you want to go to Apparition Forest? It's a long story. We've got time. Well, where to start? We'll help you in any way we can. Definitely. Thanks, you two. So, where are Curtis and Miles? They said they were going to talk to my dragon after they stocked up the treasure bag. And that is why you cannot go to Apparition Forest. Why do I always fall asleep? <sighs> huh? What? I said, you cannot go to Apparition Forest. <sighs> Why not? Three reasons. Alright then, first of all is extremely dangerous, second of all happy bandle exploration there, and lastly, you have no way of getting there. One, Peek and I have done more dangerous things, and according to Miles, so has he. Two, Happy makes exceptions for dire cases such as this. And three, Pika's already asking Espion and Umbreon to teleport us there via Magnagate. 
I'll give you a first two points, but Espion and Umbreon would never endorse something like this. Curtis! Miles! Espion and Umbreon agree to help us! They're readying the Magna Gate now! Why do I even bother? Alright, let's go! Curtis, wait. I beg of you, do not go on this mission. Why? Why is it so important for me not to go? I didn't want to have to tell you this. What? If you go through with this, you can be sent back to the human world for good. What? What do you mean? Since you were brought back from the human world, it's safe to assume that you still have a job to do. That means when you and uh, two other humans complete the job, you will all be sent back home. You're just making assumptions. I highly doubt that... The... wait... other two humans? What other humans? Uh, um... Hi, Dragon. What other humans? I can't tell you. I've said too much already. Fine then. I'll respect that. But you can't stop me from going. Alright. Then go out there and do the best you can. Always. Where is he? I don't know. I guess our dragon held him back. We'll have to open the Magna Gate without him. Wait, I'm coming! Hurry up. We're about to open the Magna Gate. Sorry I'm late. I was, uh, chatting with High Dragon. It's alright. We were just about to open the Magna Gate. Oh, shoot. What? What is it? We're missing the Enter card that targets the Ley Line. So you can't open the Magna Gate? No, not without that card. And there's nothing we can do? We could ask Keldeo to make a new one, but that could take weeks. Uh, I may be able to help. Do you know how to use Enter cards? No, but my guildmaster gave me this. He said I'd know who to give it to. I assume he meant you two. Hey, that's one of Hivolt's cards. Hivolt's your guildmaster. Yeah, how do you two know Hivolt? We used to work together as dungeon researchers. Can you use that card to open the portal? We should. Wait. Hold on a second. Hi, Dragon? What is it? News from the forest. I contacted the Voice of Life in the Apparition Forest, and she gave me some very distressing news. First of all, she's lost her power as a Voice of Life, so she's stuck in her Pokemon form. Lost her powers? How? Only by the hand of a very powerful being. But that's not the worst of it. She told me that the magic that stops Pokemon from dying has disappeared. The Pokemon from the guild have turned up dead, killed their battle wounds. What? what? Dead? But, but Pokemon can't die that easy! We can't die in battle! Yeah, are you sure those injuries were from a battle? She was very specific when she said battle wounds. Did you know about this, Miles? I had no idea. It must have started happening after Tag and I left. Uh, do you guys still want to go? Yes. yes. Are you sure? This stuff sounds pretty dangerous. Of course we're still going. Hi, Dragon. Aren't you going to stop them? No point. Curse already made it clear that they'd find a way to go, with or without us. Exactly. And there's nothing we can do to stop you? Nothing short of hog-tying us and keeping us in the basement of Swan is in. Uh, what? Alright then, I'll go get the ropes. Umbreon. They're not children. They're full-fledged explorers. We can't coddle them. I know, Espeon. I know, but they're dealing with death. Death! I understand you're concerned. But they all have the reasons they need to be there. Miles needs to rescue his friend, Pika needs to save his parents, and Curtis is the only one who can defeat the bitter cold. Why does it have to be them? Couldn't some other rescue team do it? Even if we did hire another rescue team, only a human can defeat the bitter cold. So Curtis has to go anyway. And you know, if Curtis has to go, then Pika's going with him. <sighs> You're right. So are you still gonna help us? Yeah, we'll help. Just promise me you'll be careful. Of course. Then we'll open the Magna Gate. The Magna Gate is open! Whoa! Wow! The Magna Gate gets me every time. Remember what you promised. Don't worry, we remember. Now get going, before Umbreon changes his mind. Don't worry, we'll be back soon.
Hey, Umbreon? Yeah? Did Miles look kind of familiar to you? Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but it can't be him. 